Hello Libra, welcome to your February forecast. I'm really looking forward to talking to you this month because I've been receiving a lot of energy as I was tuning into your sign. You know that I like to begin with channeled information. This is stuff that comes straight from source. Um, I select a deck of cards, start to meditate, and I see what the message is for each sign. You have a lot that's coming through this month. The first thing that I saw was this brilliant energy emanating from the heart center. Instead of having the sort of archetypal uh, green energy which you would associate with the heart space or the heart chakra, um, I just saw this golden light, almost as if you were the sun or the star card um, in the tarot deck. And what I was really starting to get after that visual came through was the word or the concept of gravity and pull. And so for you this month, uh, you know, one of the wonderful things with Libra is you can equal out uh, other energies and other people. You can also put energy underneath someone and kind of kindle their fire. And so as an air sign, you have this ability to really uh, kind of find sometimes what other people's blocks are, help them through all of that and everything. But this is your month to focus on yourself, to kindle your own fire, your own passion, your own energy. And instead of using it like, like we see our sun, you know, stretching all the rays in different directions, trying to pull all this stuff around it, spending all of its time and energy on the manipulation, the organization, and the sort of glue of its own system, uh, this is your month to just shine for yourself. And I want you to see it more as like the beginning phase of a star, which is, you know, possibilities and creation. Because the sun itself was also a creative force in all that we see around us in our particular solar system. So this month, I want you not to focus on what hasn't happened or what you're trying to create. I want you to kind of think to yourself, I can do anything I really want to do with this month, this day, this year. I'm going to start today to own my power and to start to put it into one or two things that I want to see happen. Um, and I want you to, it's almost, the, the other image I get in, in my mind is Hephaestus um, kind of taking a hammer or whatever and, and forging something new. And that was uh, Vulcan as well. I guess you could call that God. It was the God of fire, the God of creation. So I, I'm getting a lot of fiery energy for you this month, uh, which is fantastic. That tells me that you have the ability now to really, this is, this is kind of where your year is beginning and where all of the potential is starting to kick in. So if December or January was feeling a little lackluster, or if you've been feeling a little out of sorts, I feel like February is going to be your chance to sort of click the reset button, start to focus on something, start to see some um, actual benefits and some results from it. And how exciting is that? Because again, I feel like Libra is sort of like the universal healing sign. It goes in, it helps everyone see things. It's a diplomat. It's wonderful at communication. Sometimes it's diplomatic to a fault. This month, you can actually be bold. You can go after something. You can use your power of negotiation, diplomacy, and communication um, as a way to get things done for you. So I think that this can be a really great month for you and I encourage you to use all that stuff that you do, uh, normally kind of reaching out and helping others to, to fix something in your life, to create something into your in your own life, or to sort of embrace something that you want to do just for fun because that's going to ultimately give you more love and light to share again with others because that is part of your sign, but remember balance. So this month, the balance is on your love, your light, your energy, and doing something for yourself. Let's go ahead now and take a look at all of the cards. I'm gonna pull the camera down, we'll look at all the cards at once, and then one by one, I'll talk to you about um, each of the signs and symbols and how they're going to break down for you this month. Okay, let's begin by pulling the past, present, and future influences and see what kind of insight they're going to yield for this month. And now we're going to look at the catalyst and as you'll see it positioned here, it affects everything else underneath it and around it. And finally, we'll expand the forecast to look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. Uh, I will, as I said, go through each of these cards individually. And at the very end, you'll have a chance to look at this again when I review it. So don't worry about needing to see the spread. You'll get a second chance at that. Let's 
Let's go ahead and arrange all of these and uh, I'm gonna pull the camera up. We'll look at each one, one by one. As we look at your catalyst this month, it's union. Union is not just about partnering with someone. In this case, it's also about receiving the love, the energy, the insight, the support that many of these people that have um, been spending time with you, they want to also give back to you. And so this month, you could meditate on the idea of receiving love, light, um, abundance in all forms. But really, it is about receiving because uh, that's what we were talking about at the beginning with balancing things out. For those of you that have been sort of traveling the road alone for a while, maybe very happily so, this can also show that the universe might be providing you some love or some friendship or an ally from an unexpected place. And so, as I said, there's always a time for something. There's always a way of balancing things out. So this may be the month for many of you where a partnership comes in if you've been waiting for it or if you've just sort of given up on it. It's still maybe something that is present and ready to come in. And in your meditation practice, you could just say, I'm, I'm willing to receive that if it's of the highest light and if it's for my greater good. Um, irrespective of what's going on in your life, the idea of working with others is going to be a key component to success this month. Don't be afraid to ask as much as you give. So balance is the key. It's not selfish solely and it's not um, living a life solely for service. This month, what we see is a nice balance between the two. Binary stars, if you will, that are neither consuming nor uh, basically destroying one another. They're in a sort of nice cosmic dance. And that's what you could think of all of the relationships that you have this month. It's a cosmic dance of energy. You give a little, they give a little bit. Don't be afraid this month, especially if you've been giving a lot, to receive a lot. So again, finding that balance, feeling good about it, knowing that no matter what, people are going to be essential to your life, to your business, to almost everything this month, and that's okay. Because if what I was tuning into earlier really does manifest for you, you're going to be in a place where you know what you need, you know who you are, you're gonna have good limits, and this is going to be a harmonious union, a nice cosmic dance, as I was saying earlier. As we look at your past influences this month, we have the Magician card in reverse. Uh, overall, I love the Magician. It's a card of creation, manifestation, but when it's in its reverse state, it can indicate that you have pulled yourself in too many directions, spread yourself thin, either through commitments, through a lack of concentration or focus, or simply because there might be a thought inside that you have to try to hold everything up. Uh, if we're gonna be talking about Greek and Roman gods, the other one that comes to mind is Atlas. And this isn't the month to be Atlas, trying to hold up the weight of the world. This is the month to be, um, like I said, Vulcan, forging things, creating things. And so with the magician in the upright position, it, it's a card that has all of the tools at its disposal, one of each element. And um, all of these instruments of creation are something that you can use this month, but I want you to try not to get distracted with options, opportunity, or noise around you. Instead, uh, put some prioritization together and think, this is the most essential thing that I need to focus on to feel happy, to move forward, to be healthy, whatever it is for you. And that's really what the magician is saying. Less is more, and once you've found that focal um, point and energy, then you're going to hopefully be unstoppable based on all of the fire energy that I'm getting this month. Now, we see the Ten of Cups in the center here, in the present opportunities and the energy that's going to pretty much rule the month. So this is about community and um, partnerships and marriage. And I think that's why the union came up at the top here. So best friends, partners, colleagues, um, and family will be allies for you this month. All of that wonderful work you've been doing, and a lot of you really do give until it hurts sometimes, um, this is a month where it starts to pay off. And um, the message here is you're more loved than you realize. There's a lot of energy, particularly when it comes for people wanting to see you happy and wanting to see you succeed, that seems to be presenting itself this month. So believe in yourself. That self-confidence becomes a magnetizing force that will pull in other people that see that you love yourself, that you love them, and that you're basically existing in that frequency of love. Therefore, you're going to be attracting better things. Um, I will say this because the uh, Ten of Cups card is bookmarked by two cards in reverse. We have the Magician in reverse and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, this can show distraction, as we talked about earlier. This card can show negativity or gossip or a feeling of being exhausted. Since it's right by that community card in the center, 
Again, there's a note to not give so much that you feel fatigued, to not listen to all of the criticism. And trust me, this is hard, especially if you are a public figure, if you're a teacher, or perhaps if you're in a very sort of visible role like a celebrity or uh, someone who just puts all of their work out for public consumption. There's always going to be a lot of talk and a lot of feedback, and not all of it is always of the highest energy. Sometimes it's just critical and it's not even constructively critical. It's just, it is what it is. What this is saying is, you have to find your truth, you have to stick to it, and um, talking about that whole idea of forging, we have, we have a sword here. You're able to go forward and sometimes when you are creating something new, when you're a, um, someone that can kind of, what's the best word, there's a new word, not agitator, but uh, disruptor. When you're a disruptor and you have this idea that sometimes there's a different way to do it, at the beginning of putting that idea out there, there's turbulence. It's kind of like if you toss a pebble into a, a stream, at the beginning there's turbulence, but then it finds its way. Uh, I think the same thing holds true here. This could be a month for some of you where it's a new way of thinking, it's a new way of being, you might be showing a new side of yourself, especially since I'm seeing all that light, all that energy. Basically, it's, it's, it's a lot of uh, creative stuff. I think it's coming from also the third chakra for some of you too. And this could be a side that uh, is is new to you and could could be something really beneficial when it comes to getting something finished. So embrace it, see it through, trust yourself, trust your vision, and take what you need from the criticism, but don't let it be a block. The three cards together are quite good. If you just look at the Magician, the Ten of Cups, and the Ace of Swords, that's about manifestation, community and support, and then ultimately execution. So all you have to do is keep your focus, keep your momentum, and all of that energy holds true. Um, the, the, the places where you can get distracted, again, where your ability to focus and then getting distracted by other people's comments, thoughts, or um, sometimes even actions, okay? Now let's go to the expanded forecast. We'll begin with health. So we have flow here, and it's reversed. So for some of you, I want you to honor what's going on in your body. Does it feel like something is sort of out of its normal feeling of goodness or uh, just sort of, again, if it's flow, are you losing some sort of uh, ability to kind of move muscles or range of motion? Uh, the other thing here is to, when we're looking at spiritual energy, because this is mind, body, and spirit, to not go counter to the flow. If something's difficult, it could be a workout routine, it could be trying to, you know, be friends with someone or get something done, don't overdo it because there might be some sort of a protective energy around that that is saying, don't go too far. So in exercise, you could avoid an injury if you're trying to push yourself or you're thinking, I don't, I don't think I need to do this today, honor that. Uh, if it's a relationship and the person's constantly putting up fences and not letting you in, or you get this sort of inkling that, mm, I don't think I should hang out with this person, that's also the flow of intuition coming to you saying, this isn't going to help you, this isn't healthy for you, okay? But aside from that, whenever I see this card, I also think that uh, something like yoga or stretching uh, or even swimming would be great. You want something gentle, something that works with your energy and again, feels good. Make sure that whatever you're doing this month doesn't hurt for the sake of hurting. Like that old mantra, uh, no pain, no gain, it's not entirely true. Sometimes the pain is counterproductive. So you wanna push your limits, but you don't wanna do it to the breaking point. And I think that's what this is saying. We have a curious card here in the wealth sector. Innocence is a, it's actually a great word, but there are a few things you want to be cautious of when you see innocence in wealth. When I think of innocence, I think of someone who might be lacking experience. There's, no, uh, there's nothing to be ashamed of when you see that, but when you're looking at money this month, it might be good to educate yourself on all the pros, all the cons, all of the sort of... Um, all the factors involved with any decision, whether it's saving, spending, investing, this is a month where I see this also as kind of like naivete or, um, or a chance to sort of, it's kind of like the fool card here, which is you need to be careful. Uh, and also not, not go forward without knowing who you're working with. Make sure that they are in that sort of same clean, bright energy. I love innocence because what it's showing is that you haven't been corrupted in that area or there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of hopefulness and so if you have this, if you're sort of at this place where you think, I wanna try something new, but I'm not quite sure what's going on, I'm gonna assume also that this is gonna work out great. That's actually a great approach. Just make sure that your partner is equally as optimistic, but probably more experienced than you. 
because we want to match up experience with the innocents. There's a mentorship opportunity, basically. So make sure you're asking the questions that you need and make sure that you vetted out the partner that you're going to choose because partner is the name of the game this, this month when I'm looking at Union, Ten of Cups, and it's touching that Innocence card. So um, you're probably going to have to reach out for assistance on something. And so I see this as a chance for you to, um, to grow, to work through any sort of discomfort or uh, not knowing about something and go from um, that, that state of innocence to a state of confidence and knowledge and power, which is really what seems to want to come through for you this month. Your message in relationships is to give your partner or the people around you some space to breathe. And uh, the caption on this is, take several deep breaths. And uh, this is for the express purpose of awakening your energy, releasing old patterns, etc. But when I see this, I see breathing space. I see room to grow. And I also think that this can be a chance for you to sort of step back and give yourself time to really allow for everything to sort of settle in. Sometimes in a relationship, we kind of speak off the cuff. We, we have a, kind of like a knee-jerk reaction. And this card is really encouraging you to do just what it says, which is to take in what people have to say, take a deep breath and think, what do I want to do with that? Where is it coming from? How is their feedback? Uh, feeling internally to me and then based on that you can decide and if if you ever notice I don't remember which sign I talked about this month but it, it's good to repeat with you when people are listening to you the way they breathe can actually be a nonverbal cue for how uh, how much they're taking in or, or if they're or if your communication isn't being received if someone sighs uh, you know that it's probably not being well received and you need to pause and receive feedback um, and likewise, if they're talking really fast and aren't taking time to breathe, you could try to slow down the communication a little bit or just let them know, say, I'm as excited as you. Let's, let's, let's try to get some of this on paper let, you know, and try to help them focus and download. So in addition to breathing yourself, listen to what other people are doing with breath and don't be afraid to slow everyone down to take the time to focus and let everyone know that they're going to have a chance to be heard. Okay. Now let's look at your outcome here, which is the destiny card. Destiny is very malleable, uh, at least in the spread that I've created. This is a chance for you to check on your sort of internal GPS and decide I want to go down that path or I want to switch and find an alternate route. So um, I love this message. It says I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Talking about staying in the frequency of love, which is really, really important and reminding you that uh, all of the sort of exterior stuff that's going on around you, whether it's culture, language, the way you look, the way you sound, the way you feel, that's kind of this shell, this vehicle that we've decided to kind of drive around on the planet. Uh, but that we are much deeper, we're much more sacred than that. To, so you really want to treat one another as the sacred souls and soul sisters, soul brothers that, they, that everyone is on this planet. Try to get away from the exterior baggage, focusing instead on your love, your light, which is what I saw at the beginning of the channeled information here. And one piece of advice I have for all light workers, and I want to make sure I put this here because I know not everyone sticks around to the end. I always try to leave the videos with a little um, something extra, but I'm going to put this piece here because it's important. Uh, the way that you can really work with uh, people that are negative, negative situations around you is to go to a frequency that is so bright that they have to either ascend to that frequency or kind of fall away. So rather than meeting them at that, at that low frequency, which then diminishes your ability to be strong, you stay constant, you stay bright, you can be compassionate, you can be empathic, but you're going to continue to shine brightly and stay in a uh, place of integrity, a place of love, of leadership and of light and that's what you are and I haven't used the phrase in a while but this is the the sort of lighthouse that I talked about a lot last year so that energy is coming through again for you this month and with all that fiery creative leadership type potential that's coming through be the lighthouse that I've been kind of advocating all of us to be and know that that's the way that you counter a lot of the fear and frustration that we see so much in the world right now. I'm going to turn the camera down now and we're going to look at each card one by one and then we'll wrap up. Again, at the top here we have a union card. It speaks as much to the fact that new people might be coming in as it speaks to the fact that you can lean on existing people in your life 
for love, for support. Uh, and we see that because right underneath we have the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is friends, family, community. Remember this month that you are sort of straddled with a couple of challenges and a couple of opportunities. The Magician and the Ace of Swords are great for manifestation. In fact, they are two cards that I would hope to see for someone that wants to complete a project. But they are right in the middle of a card that shows a lot of people and a lot of voices. So you want to make sure that negativity or criticism doesn't basically get in your way of being able to go after what you want. And opportunity doesn't sort of flood your mind so much that you can't focus on one particular point of view. Stay focused, stay positive, stay receptive, and then you'll be able to um, continue to execute on what you need. Uh, as we look at health, remember to uh, kind of live by the motto that if it feels okay, in if you're trying to exercise or create some new habit, it's probably going to be okay for you. If you're pushing too far, it hurts or it doesn't feel right, that's when you need to reach out, ask a doctor for assistance. This is also a good month to work with the energy of water. Um, we have this word flow here, so swimming would be great. Uh, and finding a way to sort of do gentle movement, I think, is really what your body is desiring. For wealth, make sure that you educate yourself. It's a very quick summary of the, the word in a sense. Make sure that the people that you work with are also someone that you can trust so that they don't take advantage of uh, perhaps your innocence or uh, your need for more information. Give yourself breathing space. Give others pay attention to their breathing patterns as they communicate. And remember overall that we are all spiritual beings. Even those of us that are behaving poorly or that aren't uh, sort of at their brightest, we're all here to learn. We're all here to teach and we're all here to uh, receive love and light from one another. So once you realize that, then it's hard to get angry or upset with someone. They're just at a different point of their journey, maybe higher, maybe lower. And once you realize that, then it's, it's more about you. And that was what I was talking about at the beginning. So the, that really brings this monthly reading to a close. But if you ever want to get more insights on something going on in your life, this could be a big decision, a love situation, uh, something with work. I'm here to help you. Um, you can check out the first link below the video and check out rates and availability, see if it makes sense. Otherwise, if you just like what you see and you would like to give some support so that I can continue to create videos just like this, then I'm gonna put some information at the bottom. You can donate. The donations go into video production. So something as small as $1, either one time or each month, that is uh, amazingly helpful in creating videos. So thank you in advance if you're drawn to do that. Otherwise, a great sort of non-committal way of supporting the channel, but really it does help me, is to like the video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and then share it with someone that you care about. And then you can also, if you'd like to, to do so, join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, as well as my newsletter. And uh, if you'd like to do that, all of those links, you'll see three, they're right below the video. Or if you're using a mobile application, you can click on the little uh, circled eye icon in the corner, and I think that pulls down a, a shelf where you can kind of click on those links as well. I'd like to leave you with the idea that this is your month to shine. I want you to beam from the top of your crown to the tips of your toes, and I want that energy to be a beautiful, attractive force to create the things that you need in your life to also inspire those around you. By living your truth, by living your passion, you're also going to be uh, creating wonderful change on this planet. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your journey, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Take care.